Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Juliana and in today's video I'm going to talk about The Book of Disquiet by Fernando Pessoa. Fernando Pessoa was a Portuguese poet born in 1888 and he passed away in 1935. As I said, he was a poet, mainly, but he also was a philosopher, a playwright, an essayist, a translator, a publicist, an astrologer, an inventor, an entrepreneur, a commercial correspondent, literary critic, and political commentator. Having been educated in South Africa at an Irish Catholic school, he became more familiar with the English language than with Portuguese. Having received a British education, which provided him with a deep contact with the English language, his first texts and studies were in English. English played a major role in his life, working with the language when later he became a commercial correspondent in Lisbon. In addition to using it, some of his texts and translating works by English poets such as Edgar Allan Poe. With the exception of Message, the only books published during his lifetime are the collections of his English poems. The Book of Disquiet was written by heteronyms of Fernando Pessoa. Some investigators think that there are two authors, so two heteronyms that wrote the Book of Disquiet. The first one is Vicente Goetz in a first phase and the second one Bernard Soares. On the other hand, other investigators consider that the first phase of the book belongs to Fernando Pessoa and the second one, more personal and a diary written phase, belongs to Bernard Soares. Something that I think is important to define is an heteronym. So an heteronym is a name and character invented by an author to sign works with different literary styles. So it's not the same thing as a pseudonym. A pseudonym is when an author doesn't want to give his real name and so he invents a fictional one to write his books, to sign his books. An heteronym implies a different writing style, as if it were a different person. So it, that author can have the date of birth, date of death, cause of death, so it's actually like it was a totally different person. There is not a defined number, but it is thought that Fernando Pessoa has more than 70 ethronyms, and the most famous are Alberto Caeiro, Álvaro de Campos, Bernardo Soares and Ricardo Reis. When he died, a chest full of papers was found and it's been, these papers are being edited till today. And in these papers, some were found with BD initials and the investigators connected one thing to another and they found out that BD was referring to Book of Disquiet and so that papers were those papers were gathered and compiled so to bring that is the Book of Disquiet. So it's possible that in the future perhaps some papers are found, some other papers are found and the Book of Disquiet can be extended. Bernard Soares is considered a semi heteronym because as this creator himself explains, the personality being not mine, it's not different from mine, but a simple mutilation of it. I am minus the reasoning and affection. So Bernard Suarez, Bernard Suarez is very similar to Fernando Pessoa. They are not the same person, but they are close to that. It is difficult to define the book of disquiet as a book because, um, as I, I can show you, as you can see here, here and here, 
and here. This book contains like topics, it's like it were entries of a diary. But it's for me, it's not quite a diary, it's more like a dumping book. It's like as if it were a journal where people write what comes to mind. It's something like that. This book, as you can, could saw, is in prose, but it's strange because it's like poetry. It's like a poetic prose. It's confusing. Because the way this book is written is so intricate and so complicated sometimes. The phrase constructions are so complex. And he can write and write and write and sometimes I would read and read and read and would go and finish that topic or that entry and I would understand nothing. It was and I, I would reread and reread again and I would understand everything that he said but the meaning it was sometimes so difficult to extract and but it's marvelous it's it's so confusing to explain but you may not understand what he means but you can understand the complexity of the work in this work is possible to find outbursts about life. He talks about the vicissitudes of life. Bernard Swarzy is capable of starting a reasoning, starting a thought, and further on contradict himself. It's like a stream of consciousness. So, as I've said, it's as if it were a, dum a dumping book, that the thoughts that come to his mind, he will simply write not caring about if it has a lot of logic or if it is coher coherent. You, you have to pass to the experience of reading this book to understand what I mean. But I want to read to you some um, parts that I really enjoyed and that I marked in this book. But something that I want to, you to forgive me is that I read this in a Portuguese edition so and i don't have any english edition with me that i can go and see the translation so i made a translation of my own so please forgive me if it's not so correct but i want to give you an idea of what you can find in this book and the idea that i want to pass about the phrase constructions and how it's complex and sometimes hard to understand I'm gonna I'm gonna read some some parts that I took from this book. One is the feelings that hurt the most, the emotions that sting the most, are the ones that are absurd. The craving for impossible things, precisely because they are impossible, the longing for what never was, the longing for what could have been, the hurt of not being the other, the dissatisfaction with the existence of the world. All these undertones of soul consciousness create in us a colorful landscape, an eternal sunset of what we are. The feeling is then a deserted field darkening, sad with reeds at the foot of a river without boats, clearly blackening between distant banks. Here's another one. I have always been an ironic dreamer, and faithful to inner promises. I always enjoyed, as another of a for and a foreigner, the defeat of my daydreams, a casual assistant to what I thought I was. I never believed what I believed. I filled my hands with sand, called it gold, and opened her hands all over, flowing. The sentence has been the only truth. With the sad sentence, it, has, it was all done. The rest was the sand that had always been. Sometimes we can find um, many events about his loneliness. And I want to read you this one. I had a certain talent for friendship, but I never had friends. Either because I lack them, 
or because the friendship I had conceived was a mistake in my dreams. I have always lived isolated and more and more isolated the more I found myself. Now I want to read to you a phrase that for me defines this book. It's, it's beautiful. What can I say? Uh, it's really hard to understand. Till today I think about it and I, I'm graveling to know its meaning. But for me, it uh, defines, simply defines this book. I wish we had a path made from a place where no one lives to a place where no one goes. Do you see what I mean? Isn't that beautiful? Now I want to read to you another passage. To regard our greatest distress as an unimportant incident, not only in the life of the universe, but in that of our own soul, is the beginning of wisdom. To consider this in the midst of this anguish is all wisdom. The moment we suffer, it seems that human pain is infinite. But not even human pain is infinite, because there is nothing human that is infinite. Nor is our pain worth more than being a pain that we have. I agree with myself that I will read 30 pages a day and for me it was enough. It's a book that although it's so interesting and so intricate, the writing style is so complex, but it's a book that it has some weight. So it's not a reading, at least for me, it wasn't a reading that I wanted to devour the book. No, it was a slow reading that I took with calm and I wanted to be reading it little by little in a slow pace. And it's a book that you have to have in your bedside because you can open it when, wherever and the book will make sense in a way because it doesn't make sense. <laughs> so it's interesting that way because wherever you open it, it will be enough because the book doesn't have a plot. It's like a lost thought. In the first part of the book, we are presented with uh, the life of uh, Bernard Suarez or wherever heteronym you think that is written it and Bernard Suarez is a bookkeeper assistant and we are going to follow him talking about the public department to, uh, that he works at he talks about his boss, he talks about his colleagues the life that he, he leads, the places that he goes to so he talks about the quiet life and the ordinary life that he is taking. And then um, along the way that you go and read this book, uh, it's more like lost thoughts. So it varies much uh, in the topics that he talks about, in the subject that he talks about. Although sometimes I found this, re this reading a bit difficult, I really enjoyed. I think this is an experience that will change the way you look at literature. It's a book that you never have read it something like this before. So it will be um, a ori original, unique experience that you can have. And I think, as myself, you will love it. So I really advise you to go and give this book a try. As I've said, please read it with calm. You don't have to rush it. Go in a slow pace, tasting the book, because this is like, uh, as I said, it's a book that you have to have in your bedside, that you go and reread some parts. So it's, um, it's a book that never ends in a way. So yeah, I hope I have convinced you. I hope you, if you read it, please let me know. 
I would love to know what you thought about the book and if you go and uh, read this one please let me know as well I'd love to see um, how you found it and yeah if you are not subscribed to my channel please subscribe I would love you I would love to see you here more often Leave a like, it helps a lot the divulgation of the video and the divulgation of the channel. Follow me on Instagram, I will post in there whenever I have a book review to do or anything else. And that's it, I hope you have enjoyed it and I will see you on the next one. Bye! Bye.